in the gritty neon-lit streets of 79 New York City, a gang called The Warriors tore through a wild night, making cinematic history. It's been a whopping 44 years since that iconic movie dropped. But hold on to your leather vests, folks, because today we're going to take a ride through time and check out what happened to the cast of The Warriors. From Swan to Luther to Mercy, these characters left their mark on us, and now it's time to see where life's taken them. So get ready for some serious nostalgia as we dive into The Warriors cast then and now. Michael Beck played Swan, a member of the Warriors. Michael Beck was born on February 4, 1949. In 1979, he was 30 years old, and at present, he is 74 years old. Beck is a talented actor known for his iconic roles in various films and TV shows. He gained recognition for his portrayal of Swan in The Warriors. Additionally, Beck showcased his acting chops as Sonny Malone in Xanadu and Lieutenant Commander Dallas in Megaforce. While these roles earned him Razzie nominations, he continued to impress audiences with his performances in movies like Triumphs of a Man Called Horse and TV series such as Holocaust and Houston Nights. Beck's versatile talent extended to narrating audiobooks, including works by John Grisham, Michael Connelly, and Bill Clinton. He also reprised his role as Swan in the popular video game adaptation of The Warriors in 2005. James Remar played Ajax, one of the heavy muscle members of The Warriors. James Remar was born on December 31, 1953. In 1979, he was 26 years old, and at present, he is 69 years old. Remar is a versatile and rugged actor who has made a name for himself in the industry. He first gained recognition playing Ajax in The Warriors. Since then, he has taken on a wide range of roles, showcasing his talent and intensity. From playing psychopaths like Dutch Schultz in The Cotton Club to portraying Samantha's billionaire lover in Sex in the City, Remar has displayed his versatility. He has also excelled in more vulnerable roles, such as the guitarist in the Oscar-winning short Session Man. Remar is known for his role as Harry Morgan, Dexter's adoptive father, in the hit series Dexter. He has received accolades for his work, including a SAG Award and a Saturn Lifetime Achievement Award. Recently, Remar has appeared in the hit TV series Magnum P.I. and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Dorsey Wright played Cleon, the original war chief of the Warriors. Dorsey Wright was born on April 21, 1957. In 1979, he was 22 years old, and at present, he is 66 years old. Wright made his mark as an actor with his role in The Warriors. Playing Cleon, one of the co-founders of The Warriors, Wright's portrayal was memorable, especially with his distinctive leopard skin do-rag. While his film career concluded just five years later with The Hotel New Hampshire, he left a lasting impression in the industry. Post-Warriors, Wright appeared as Lafayette in the film adaptation of Hair and played gang member Hash 4 in Ragtime. Beyond acting, he was involved in theater, being part of a group called Theater for the Forgotten, which aimed to create performances for shut-ins and homebound individuals. Wright continued to lend his voice to projects like the 2005 video game adaptation of The Warriors and worked for the New York Transit Authority, while also doing voiceover work for commercials. Brian Tyler played Snow, a member of The Warriors. Brian Tyler was born on May 15, 1953. In 1979, he was 26 years old, and at present he is 70 years old. Tyler had his professional acting debut in The Warriors. As a member of American Community Theater, part of the theater for The Forgotten, he embarked on his acting journey. After his role in The Warriors, Brian took a break from the screen and made a comeback in 2013 with the film Vamp Bikers. Alongside his acting pursuits, Brian served as a New York State trooper, retiring in December 2004. Despite his involvement in the film, Brian noted that he was never recognized during his job. He also showcased his martial arts skills in the movie, having studied Taekwondo Wando and Judo. Brian has made appearances in Warriors reunions and signings, delighting fans by posing for photos with them. If you are enjoying the video so far, then join our gang and hit that subscribe button. Just like the Warriors hit the streets of New York, it's a journey you won't want to miss. Tom McKitterick played Cowboy, a calm and friendly member of the Warriors. Tom McKitterick was born on December 20, 1956. In 1979, he was 23 years old, and at present, he is 66 years old. Tom McKitterick, a versatile actor and photojournalist, began his career after graduating from Amherst College. He performed at renowned venues like Café La Mama and the New York Shakespeare Festival. Along with his role in the Warriors, McKitterick acted on stage until 1981 before transitioning to become a successful photojournalist. Additionally, Additionally, he found acclaim as a theater producer, with notable productions like Period of Adjustment at the Almeida Theater. In 2011, McKitterick produced Flare Path at Theater Royal Haymarket, featuring Sienna Miller. 
Marcelino Sanchez played Rembrandt, the Warriors graffiti artist. Marcelino Sanchez was born on December 5, 1957. In 1979, he was 21 years old. Sadly, Marcelino died due to AIDS-related cancer on November 21, 1986. Sanchez, known for his role as Rembrandt in The Warriors, initially pursued a career in painting at the High School of Art and Design. However, his passion for acting led him to join the drama club and study at the 13th Street Theater and HB Studio. The Puerto Rican-born actor toured in Spain with the production of Hair. Marcelino went on to appear in various TV TV shows and films, including 48 Hours and Hill Street Blues, often credited as James Marcelino. He also made appearances in the CBS School Break special in 1986 and Unicorn Tales. Terry Mikos played Vermin, a heavy, brawling member of the Warriors. Terry Mikos was born on December 26, 1953. In 1979, he was 25 years old, and at present, he is 69 years old. Mikos began his career with success on Broadway, film, and television. He played lead roles in productions such as Grease on Broadway and The National Touring Company. Mikos also appeared in various television series like CBS Movie of the Week, The Great Skycopter Rescue, and Universal Pictures' CBS miniseries, The Contender. After his acting career, Mikos transitioned to the field of communication serving as communications director for U.S. Congresswoman Nan Hayworth. He was also a news director and anchor for News Center 6 and Cablevision News of the Hudson Valley. Deborah Van Valkenburg was born on August 29, 1952. In 1979, she was 27 years old, and at present, she is 71 years old. Deborah is a multi-talented artist hailing from Schenectady, New York, has made her mark as an actress, singer, artist, and writer. She started her career by making her professional debut on Broadway in the revival of the musical Hair. Deborah is best known for her memorable performance as Mercy in The Warriors. She also gained recognition for her role as Jackie Rush on the hit TV sitcom Too Close for Comfort. Throughout her career, she has performed in various renowned theaters across the country, showcasing her talent in productions such as The Book of Liz, Picasso at the Lapinagiel, and The Beauty Queen of Lee Nain. Additionally, Deborah has demonstrated her musical prowess as a featured vocalist for Peter Tork, A Likely Story, and the acoustic band D.B. House. David Patrick Kelly played Luther, the leader of the Rogues. David Patrick Kelly was born on January 23, 1951. In 1979, he was 28 years old, and at present, he is 72 years old. Kelly, a compact and fierce character actor, burst onto the acting scene with his memorable role as the devious leader of the Rogues in The Warriors. Known for his tight-lipped expressions and rebellious nature, Kelly has portrayed defiant young men often at odds with authority. His impressive range of roles includes working alongside Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolta in 48 Hours, facing off against Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando, and playing T-Bird in The Crow. Kelly's captivating performances have earned him tremendous respect in Hollywood, with his iconic line, Warriors Come Out to Play, becoming one of his most influential moments on screen. Roger Hill played Cyrus, the president of the Riffs. Roger Hill was born on July 31, 1949. In 1979, he was 30 years old. Sadly, he died due to a heart attack on February 20, 2014. Hill, famously known for his role as Cyrus in The Warriors, had a limited acting career after the film's release. He made appearances in TV shows such as One Life to Live and The Leatherstocking Tales. Interestingly, Roger was not originally cast for the role of Cyrus, but stepped in when the original actor failed to show up on the shoot night. Following his brief stint in acting, Roger transitioned into working at the Yonkers Public Library. Lynn Thigpen played DJ. Lynn Thigpen was born on December 22, 1948. In 1979, she was 30 years old. Regrettably, on March 12, 2003, age 54, Lynn died of a cerebral hemorrhage. Thigpen, known for her iconic radio DJ role in The Warriors, captivated audiences with her distinctive voice. As the citywide hunt for The Warriors unfolded, she provided updates and commentary, becoming a vital source of information for the gangs of New York. Lynn's acting career spanned from Godspell to Bicentennial Man and Shaft. Her final movie appearance was as Judge Brenda Daniels in Anger Management. Tragically, Lynn passed away shortly after filming for Anger Management, leaving behind an impressive legacy that included her role as Ella Farmer in the TV show The District. 
Mercedes Rule played policewoman. Mercedes Rule was born on February 28, 1948. In 1979, she was 31 years old, and at present, she is 75 years old. Rule, renowned for her emotionally charged performances, received her first Academy Award and Golden Globe for her role as Anne Napolitano in Terry Gilliam's The Fisher King. Her portrayal of the emotionally driven girlfriend garnered critical acclaim, with the Los Angeles Times praising her bravura performance that seamlessly transitioned from comedy to profound sorrow. Rule has showcased her talent in various projects, including the TV show Frasier as Kate Costas in films like Big, Last Action Hero, and her award-winning role in The Fisher King. Furthermore, she contributed to the production of the album Haunted by Poe, showcasing her diverse creative endeavors. David Harris played Cochise, a rough-and-ready fighter of the Warriors. David Harris was born on May 23, 1959. In 1979, he was 20 years old, and at present, he is 64 years old. Harris, a talented actor, made his way to join the cast of the Warriors from Minneapolis, where he was already gaining recognition for his stage work in productions like Streamers. After graduating from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, David had a successful career in both stage and television. He showcased his acting prowess in notable productions, such as the New York Shakespeare Festival's Wedding Band, Ron Milner's Broadway play What the Wine Cellars Buy, and the Phoenix Repertory Company's production of Secret Service. On television, he appeared in Emmy award-winning shows like Judge Horton and the Scottsboro Boys, as well as popular series like Madigan, Kojak, and ER. Throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s, David appeared in numerous TV movies and films, earning a reputation for his versatile performances. He also lent his voice to the character Cochise in the Warriors video game in 2005. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character from The Warriors? Did Swan, Ajax, Mercy, or another member of the gang steal your heart? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know. And if you enjoyed this blast from the past, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Hollywood nostalgia.